So that's how life is, you know, life moves so fast. And uh, all of a sudden we start to get gray hairs when just the other day we were young and spry and ready to take over the world. And it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's way of telling each one of us that we're going to meet him subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're going to return to him. And so time moves very fast. We age. We didn't have kids one day. We weren't married. Then all of a sudden we're married. We have kids. And now our children are having children. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his generosity, through his kindness, He's constantly giving us messages of change, that the world around us is changing, things are changing, you're changing, you need to change because you have to come to me. And when you come back to me, subhana, subhana, there's no more time for change. At that point, it's just an accountability. And that accountability is either in Jannah, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us that, or if Allah destined for us that we will eventually enter into Jannah, but we didn't do the change that we needed to in this world to get there, he puts us through a process of change. And that process of change in the Akhirah, if it doesn't come in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's form of his forgiveness to us, it's another form of purification. And it's a form of purification that we do not want to go through. And that's the purification of the fire of hell. Because it's changing us, it's removing from us all of those imprints of those sins and our disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our arrogance, our pride, our boastfulness that we didn't work on changing in this world. And so it needs to change before we're ready to enter into paradise. Because Jannah is pure. You know, paradise that we all want to get into and in all of its different levels, it's pure. And it's filled with people of purity. And so only the pure can enter it. And so if we didn't do the hard work of changing and removing all of those impurities from our hearts, from our minds and our souls in this world, then there's a purification process that we have to go through in the Akhirah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that purification process and allow us all to wake up right now to realize that we need to change, that we need to purify what's in our hearts and our, in our minds so that we can draw closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be idnillah, enter the paradise of this world of knowing him and knowing his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and then enter the ultimate paradise to things being put the way that I want them put. Maybe we go to work. If uh, you're still driving to work, I don't know if everyone's still working from home these days, and you go to your parking spot that you love to park in and you find that someone else is parked there, it irritates you. It bothers you. Why? Because we don't like change. We want things to constantly be the way that we want them, how we want them. And there's actually an article I want to pull up here where a psychologist talks about human beings' disdain for change. Uh, very well mined. Actually, I don't know this website. It's the first time I, I came across this website. And yeah, why it's upsetting when things don't go as planned. I think many of us have probably been there. Most people like to have a sense of control when it comes to planning schedule, scheduled activities, says Megan uh, Markham. Uh, we we want to have control. We don't want things to be outside of our control. We want them to be how we want them to be. And she's a psychologist. Knowing what to expect can help us feel mentally prepared for what's to come. Even the smallest change in plans can make us feel like our entire day has been thrown off course. Yeah, you don't, you don't work out in the morning or you don't have that routine and then all of a sudden you feel like your day is completely shot. She explains that even a slight change in the original plan can mean that we have to adjust the rest of our plans or in some case abandon them entirely. You're not alone if this stresses you out. And then they go on to say here, when the plan is disrupted or changed suddenly, it can cause anxiety, frustration, irritation, anger, disappointment, and other negative feelings. If these changes were unanticipated, they can sometimes cause conflict and disruption in our relationships with others. Bottom line is, human beings, we do not like change. 
But what's amazing about this is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the world around us is constantly changing things. I mean, think about this. You wake up in the morning and there's the sun. And then in the evening, it's nighttime. So there's a change that we're living through and experiencing day in and day out. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God, He refers to those changes in the Quran al-Kareem as signs of His. 